Second core component of the fire control triangle, that's grip. A grip have a very, very significant importance, especially when you're talking a rapid fire. Reactive shooting, it's a practical shooting. Most of the time we'll shoot multiple shots in a rapid manner, right? Grip, it's very important in order to control the gun. We will use the principle of maximizing the biomechanical efficiency, but that will be kind of a bridge. So using that principle will achieve, again, more pressure and more pressure will create more friction. That will improve the connection of the grip, the hands with the gun. Nutcracker effect. Nutcracker has a hinge in front. It has a jaws here and it has a levers or handles. How are we going to replicate the effect of the nutcracker with our hands? Well, a fingers, connection of the fingers, we're creating the hinge. Now the heels of our palms, they will be the jaws and our forearms will be the handles of the nutcracker. One more time. We have the hinge, we have the jaws, we have the handles. We have the hinge, we have the jaws, we have the handles. We need to keep our fingers really tight and we need to create a very good friction on the front strap of the gun when we keep gripping the gun. If the hinge is broken, the nutcracker is not going to work. From here, we will apply pressure. Keep the hands close to your body, close to your chest, and we're going to apply a pressure heel of your palm against the heel of your palm. From here, we hold that same pressure. We'll imagine that we are crushing a walnut and we hold that walnut crushed between the heels of our palms. From here, we we'll simply we're going to extend our arms and the leverage that the forearms will provide will build additional pressure on the heels of our palms. And that additional pressure will create more friction and will close the back of the gun pretty tight. So we will achieve that 360 degree wrap around the gun. That will hold the gun very steady and stable in our hands. We mentioned before that the recoil is like water. It's going to move in the path of least resistance. And if we create and hold any kind of gap between the heels of our palms, guess what? The recoil is going to escape from there. That means the gun will jump weirdly. So, our main goal of the nutcracker effect is to completely close that gap and to keep that pressure rig really tight between the heel of the palm and heel of the palm. That will close the back gate, or close the gap behind the gun. So we'll achieve a very, very solid wrap, 360 degree. We have our gun very, very solid. All right, Miles, now let's test the successful application of the nutcracker effect. So first I want to build your stance from the ground up and start with your check box. So first the position of your feet, the knees, the pelvis, the chest, the head position. Now lock it in your mind, don't change it anymore. Now completely focus on the grip. First the position of the hands on the, on the gun and then focus to create that very solid hinge, right? And Apply that pressure, heel versus heel, using the forearms. Remember guys, the forearms, that's the grip, the, the, the levers of the nutcracker. So they use leverage to close the gap behind. Now we'll test that connection with the grip simply by hooking my thumb and my two fingers between both hands and I'll do 
a slight poo. So let's face that side, that angle. What I'm looking here is there is supposed to be no separation between the heels of the palms when I apply the test. Let's do it one more time. Hook the thumb, two fingers, a little pull. There's supposed to be no separation. Yeah, the, the hands stay connected really well. So that means you apply the nutcracker effect pretty good.